G'day guys, in today's video I'm replacing the loudspeaker and also the charger port slash microphone on an S21 Ultra 5G. This particular one I've had sitting on my blue heat pad here, 75 degrees, you might be able to use something like a, a hairdryer to heat it up. I do find heat does help get into the phone. Also, the other biggest factor is some isopropyl alcohol, or also known as rubbing alcohol, tends to help get in there. I'm gonna use a thin metal pry tool, like this, to get in there. Having the correct tools does make this a lot easier to work with. Um, you may be able to use something like a bank card, but the chance of damaging it is reasonably high. So I have a bit of isopropyl on here. It will help eat away the adhesive or at least soften it for now. And I could use the pry tool to cut into it. I'll continue around here as well. So I'm not really sticking it too far into the phone. I'm just kind of getting it only just a little bit in there. I don't want to jam the pry tool in there too far to begin with as it may cut other intended things. Go. That's going along pretty well. You don't want to bend the back cover too much as it is, I think, ceramic. So it will just shatter if you try and pry it at it too much without the adhesive being softened in various key spots. Go. And now we're nearly at the stage where I'm happy to fold it like a book. Go. Slowly lift and fold it over. And that's retained most of that adhesive. So with that, I'm gonna keep that on my heat pad, keep it warm, that will keep it tacky, and enable me to work on it just fine. I do currently have the phone switched off. And the reason for the replacement of the loudspeaker is that it's currently faulty and producing a very tinny noise. So with that, there's not much you can do apart from replace. So I've got the replacement one here. Model number does look to be slightly different, but we'll see how we go. Overall, at a glance over the top of it, it does look like it should be okay. From here, I'm gonna use a small Phillips head screwdriver, and that will enable me to open it up. So if we work our way a little bit closer. So I'm more covering the loudspeaker in this video more so than the charger port, as I do believe I already do have a charger port video out there. But also, the main issue with this one is the loudspeaker not working and the microphone's a bit dim. I mean, yeah, well, not working at all. So it's only, the microphone's only working on loudspeaker, which is a separate microphone in this particular model of phone. So, getting to it's pretty straightforward. Do have to lift this up. I'll use my pair of tweezers to lift that up. Just be able to slide this way and lift. There we go. It's up and out of the way. Here I should be able to pry it up in a corner. Like so. Have a look underneath. This should be pretty much identical. There's a little bead down here, not seeing any beads over there. I'm not sure what they actually represent. So I will put a mark on that one. Put a mark on here. Put a mark on here. Now it is getting fairly warm as it is been still sitting at that heat pad at 75 degrees. Which 75 degrees Celsius is perfectly fine to work on a phone. It shouldn't really cause any damage. On cheaper, or actually, as I say that, on cheaper LCDs, it will cause them to separate. So don't leave an LCD too long on there unless it's connected to an aluminium body. But with an OLED, we should be fine. They can, they're tough, they can handle it. Now, next up, we're changing the charger ports, aka microphones does help with the SIM tray out. But there are varying qualities of aftermarket, of the aftermarket um, charger ports. So for example, there's some that don't have all the 
charging ICs on the new one. I'll just skimp out on that. So somewhere, somewhere I've seen the change in the charger port does produce a worse signal. So if you can always try and find the an original or one that looks virtually identical and contains everything you require, do make sure you get that, which is what I've done in this particular instance. So right now, all the little ICs, a little bit of circuitry, are all exactly where they're meant to be. They're all looking good. They're not missing. If you turn it over, it should be pretty much the same. So right now, I'm pretty happy with everything there. The antenna connectors look to be in the exact same spots. All the capacitors and ICs seem to be identical. So I'll be pretty confident this should be all right. Where if you do replace it with an aftermarket one, I've seen them where the cheaper ICs and they're missing bits that don't support fast charging or they have an extremely poor signal other weird little things like that so do make sure you get the equivalent quality of what was already there or else you probably are going to have issues there we go so if I just hold these over the top and push them down hold them loosely push loosely push snaps back into position new loudspeaker stick it in a 45 degree angle facing the bottom and pull it down and that usually locks it into place from there so we'll do the exact same here there push 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 then five more phillips head screws back in say so five it's only four good counting Next up, the back assembly should be able to go back on. Granted, if yours doesn't come off like mine did, which mine's had, I've had plenty of experience taking them off, then you may need to put new adhesive, new double-sided tape. Might be able to get away up to putting it in a cover. Uh, this way we go. In. But if yours is looking pretty good like that, it's probably gonna be safe just putting it straight back on. I've left a little bit of adhesive there, but we should be all good. Push it down. Work it around, clamp it for a little bit, let it cool down, especially if you're using heat like I am. But I hope that helps changing your charging port and loudspeaker in an S21 Ultra 5G. Bye.